The theme of today's readings is about hearing the word of God and acting upon it. Now, Israel, here is your statutes and decrees which I am teaching you to observe that you may live. Every worthwhile gift, genuine benefit comes from above, descending from the Father. He will bring us to birth with the word spoken in truth so that we may be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Jesus said to the Pharisees, empty is the reverence they do me because they teach as dogmas, mere human precepts. You disregard God's commandment. Sir Isaac Newton in his third law of motion states, for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. An example of this is when you climb a ladder and you climb, as you climb, you put pressure on the ladder, which presses back, allowing you to climb. The rules and realms of God's works in the same way. God is the one who acts. Humans are often the ones who, rather than acting, react. People will know we are Christians in the way we act to the presence of God's love. One can see that this reaction in a way we think and act, we can allow God in our life or resist his action by creating an opposite reaction. When something bad happens to us, we ask, why did God do this to me? What have I done to deserve this? Why has God punished me this way? We are unsure of God's love. God's compassion and God's grace are still within us. In our second reading from James, we read, every generous act of giving with every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. Someone has said that we cannot break the commandments. We only break ourselves upon them. We do that when we react negatively to the action of God in our lives. God, our creator, is still creating us. We are not finished products. We become co-creators with God if we let him into our lives we will be created in the image of his son and daughter. Whereas if we resist, we grow crooked in some other image. Henry Nouwen was a priest and a psychologist who spent years working with the disabled. Out of his experience, he wrote, our life is full of brokenness, broken relationships, broken promises, broken expectations. How can we live with the brokenness without becoming bitter and resentful, accepting return, returning again and again to God's faithful presence in our lives. We must allow God's action into our lives. And if we are to react, we react by saying, here I am, Lord, to do your will. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening.